Always start the day with thoughts of goodwill. When you wake up in the morning, remind yourself, here's one more opportunity to do good as a human being. And spreading thoughts of goodwill helps to emphasize that point. Because sometimes you wake up and all you can think of, well, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, and the duties of the day begin to weigh heavily. Or if it's a day off, you say, well, how can I enjoy myself today? But it's better to think, you know, what good can I do today in terms of your duties? What little extra things can you do to make life easier for the people around you? In terms of the days when you're taking time off, how can this not be just a wasted day? What are the good can I do? Because the opportunities are all around. And John Fuhrman called it the grass at the cattle gate. The gate to the corral has a little bit of grass growing next to it, but as soon as they open the gate, the cattle in the corral don't go eating that grass. They go running way out far away, and they miss the things that are right nearby. There's a lot of little things you can do as you go through the day, either because you simply see they need to be doing and nobody else is doing them, or because you realize it would warm the heart of somebody around you. I'll do that. It takes just a little bit of extra energy, but it changes the tenor of the whole day. Each day is an opportunity to, to do good, to build your perfections. And you got ten of them. It's like having ten children that you've got to raise. You want to make sure that all ten of them are fed, all ten of them are clothed, and have a good place to sleep. You don't want to ignore any of them. If that feels like too onerous an idea, tell yourself, well, here are ten opportunities to help them along. Even just putting up with a difficult situation, then you remind yourself you're developing your persistence, you're developing your patience. And now, what's the best way to develop patience? Well, you don't focus on how difficult things are, you focus on the areas where your strengths are. And what's good about rising to a challenge? In other words, learn to think in a positive way, learn how to give yourself pep talks. I think I mentioned that when I was looking through Ajahn Mahabhava's collection of Dharma talks for talks to translate, eight out of ten seemed to be pep talks, which is a good indication of how he practiced. He learned how to give himself pep talks, keep himself going. That's how he was able to go far. So learn how to give yourself encouragement as you go through the day, the little extra thing here, the little extra thing there. And part of the mind says, no, I've already done enough. He asks, so, well, is this going to kill you? Well, no. Okay, you can do it. If you have that attitude, a lot gets done, both inside and out. But starting the day with goodwill helps to give energy to, to what you're doing. You realize that you have got the opportunity to do good, at least this one more day. Make sure it's a good day which means a day that's going to have good influences both now and on into the future.